Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we have here Dead Master, our star destiny figure to be synced with Empress. So for those who want to know if she is worth it, let me take you to her <laughs> skill preview and you will be amazed on what or how, or how she will decimate her opponents and what a, you know, her skills are bonkers let me just take you through them and uh, but before that let's uh, try to examine the base again here this is this has little not really little detail detail but i like the one with empress this is more of this is less rocks by the way a wheel is here and the same effect with the smoke um kind of all right still so again um, I hope we do get these figures, um, what they call this, to the public. I hope they produce them so that we could have them on display, the actual figures themselves. The detail design is always on par. And as you can see here, her weapon is similar to the glider, the goblin, and she's green. <laughs> so is that a coincidence or not? What do you mean the green, the green goblin? So anyway, uh, let's move on to her skills. This will serve just a as a skill preview uh, until our collab arrives. And uh, let us see her basic attack. Fatal Assault range is 1. Her attack speed is also f is already fast. By the way, she's Vanguard and she's Knight 9. So... Um, for those who are asking, um, she is a good addition to Tenma. Um, at this point, I see Rin moving over already when she's going to be out. So um, Rin's going to say bye bye. Uh, and this girl is going to be. Um, because more or less, you'll be, pair, you'll be using her with a Tenma team because Empress is there. So Rin expect her to go out. Uh, going back to the uh, basic attack, so Fatal Assault. So again, uh, attack speed is fast, by the way. You can boost it further, making it very fast to, to complement her other skills, which we will discuss in a while. So boost the damage from basic attack by 25%. But level 3 is another 25%. You have 50%. For her ultimate Eyes of Death, initial energy is 60, attacks the current target and ignores part of, of their defense. Um, I'm not sure how big will she ignore. I think it should be significant, significant enough. And if the target's health is above 40, the attack is guaranteed to crit. So... What can I say, guys? Um, she's gonna be dominating the competition with her skill. And if you really want to go in with her, I tell you guys, you have to with her ultimate alone. So upgrade effect is after unleashing her ultimate, she goes berserk after 7 seconds. There is no uh, definition of berserk, uh, which makes all her attacks penetrate so there's penetration there is ignoring defense she's a lot and she will deal a lot of damage while berserk uh, at level three her basic attacks have a 60 percent chance to trigger dead wings effect when they crit so dead wings effect is her passive so after releasing her ultimate dead wing slices the target dealing damage with lifesteal that is why you don't need to equip her with a lifesteal set. She has a built-in lifesteal ability. Um, all you need to do is equip her with, uh, as, as I mentioned, a badge that uh, gives her more attack speed. Also, she has a 50% chance to trigger after an ally unleashes her ultimate. So this one has a 50% chance to trigger again. Okay, upgrade effect level two increase the chance of triggering dead wing after any ally unleashes their ultimate to 75 so no longer 50 
and level 3 boosts the damage of the next Deadwing by 30% for each time the target takes damage from Deadwing. This effect can stack up to 4 times. So there you go. We're at the passive and special is uh, Master of Destiny. So boost the dodge chance by 15%, boost attack by 5 and crit chance by 10 and boost dodge chance by 20 at level 3. So even for her ultimate and for her passive, she will be dealing a lot of damage, guys. And um, she, I think she'll, she'll be meta for quite a long time. Based on what we have as vanguards, based on what Tenma has already, she will definitely replace Rin. Um, it's, not, it's, it's a no-brainer um, with the way she's built with her ultimate and passive she will be dealing a lot of damage ignoring defenses and piercing two defenses so that is it guys so what are your thoughts of dead master what do you think um will you go all in for her um i'll probably go all in for her um she's gonna be ridiculous um just again guys make sure that if you want to spend your fully wish with her Make sure that it's enough when you go all in because you might be a little bit short and you won't be able to go over and get her okay so that is it guys again put down your put down in the comment section what do you think about her skill set um again comment 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 i need to hear from you on what you think about her Will you go all in for her? Will you be getting her? And uh, again, guys, take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'll see you in the next collab.